Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room on the caution to keep the fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck, Bruno Suarte. Touch him up. And use his bigger, stronger body to put pressure on the Puerto Rican fighter. Cotto seems ready for that. He got his career rolling. Antonio Margarito has never lost to a shorter man. All our opponents before. Landed his jab a couple of times and landed a good left hook. Now there's an uppercut for Margarita. And the first minute produces more of a boxing match than some expected. Both fighters have had some offensive moments simultaneously. Flurry by Cotto. But putting space between the punches. Now the left uppercut for Margarita. And he steps in in the corner and fires away. Good job slipping the right hand there. And another combination. Now a margarito combination. And Cotto counters perfectly. Terrific left hooks by Cotto. Very precise first two and a half minutes. Both men boxing. Cotto goes to the body first. But I think that's, a, that's the way that most boxing experts expected the first round to go. If Antonio Margarito only throws 57 punches in a round, that's a slow round for him. Right between Margarita's gloves. Hasn't really found the timing to land repeated combinations yet. Cheek of Cotto. The, the drama here is also Margarito's such a good puncher, and Cotto has been on the canvas and rocked before. See now Margarito gets the space he wants and smiles at Cotto as if to say, all right, now we're fighting. Watch your heads, watch your heads. Kenny Bayless says, watch your heads. They're That's landing easy. with their hands. But, but. Cotto's one, but Margarita is really putting a lot of pressure on him, unlike any he's ever had. And pressure from a taller fighter is different than from a shorter fighter. And Margarito landed an excellent right hand about 10 seconds ago. Margarito is starting to develop the volume which has typified his career. Cotto pounding him with repeated left hooks. Both fighters have said hello in round two. Margarito hammering Cotto to the body in the corner. Man, the man picks most of the punches off. No, He's it's going to have to fight it. Cotto with two good left hooks upstairs. Margarito drives him back with a right hand. Of Miguel Cotto. So Margarito's made his mark in terms of drawn blood. And the Mexican fans in the crowd love that. Cotto chopping and chopping with the left hand. Mar Confrontation. What a round, round two has been. Wow. Copy box numbers in round two were spectacular. Cotto 35 out of 80. Margarito 33 out of 96. Now let's see if Cotto can begin to make it more of a boxing match again. Into the corners and against the ropes where he can fire away at will. Now they go back to the phone booth again. Cotto lands two body shots and a left hook upstairs. Margarita reaching with a left and with two body shots of his own. Hard right hand over the top for Margarita. Cotto with a right and a left inside. What a variety of punches from Cotto in that combination. Body shot, two uppercuts, chopping right hand. Cotto comes back with three punches of his own. I think Margarita right now, his defense is doing very well. He's catching a lot of punches and steadily. These kind of shots in a sustained way like this. He promised violence. And Good so left far, hook. but Margarito very live. And as the fight wears on, he gets busier and busier and increasingly dangerous. Three out of 32 per round, our first chance to check in with our unofficial scorer, Harold Letterman. I know Margarito got him up against the ropes, got real... But can he sustain this pace for 12 rounds? But Margarita's putting a lot of pressure on him. And Margarita's defense is a lot better than the public is getting credit for. Miguel Cotto hasn't exactly faded in the late rounds. It Throwing a lot of punches from different angles. And just the psychological pressure Margarito hey, exerts by constantly coming forward. And that straight right hand. Margarito is walking through Cotto's best firepower. Yes, he is. Well, most who favored Cotto favored him on points.
that he can outbox Margarito most of the way. No doubt about it. Body shots by Antonio. Cotto may regret having stopped in a corner, but now he comes back with a hard right hand and a left hook and an uppercut. Built on his nine out of 29 jabs. Once again, Cotto begins circling to his left again. But uh, Margarito, who is a little bit slower, but he punches good with both hands, even though he's a little slower. Margarito able to find Cotto with the right hand there. Now lands a roundhouse right. Cotto holding his gloves very high in this round, guarding his head. Uppercut by Cotto. Margarito also appears to be getting a little yeah. closer with those right yeah. hands. Margarito dancing with it, trying to cut him off. Cotto lands a left hook, and Margarito frustrated as he looks for opportunities. Very frustrated, and Cotto realizes he's having more rounds of going at this pace. If he can do that, he can win the fight, but if he can't, he's going to have a big problem. Tends to win the flurries. And this is what makes him depend on what kind of judge you are. A lot of judges like the guy going forward. Two oh. hard right hands for Margarito. Cotto comes back to the left, eats another right hand, ducks three right hands in a row. This give you the sense, especially when Cotto drops his hands as he did at the end of the last round up where he left off at the end of the last round, at least throwing more punches and landing some with force, even when they don't land cleanly. And Cotto comes back with... As long as Cotto can show the judges that he lands the cleaner punches, if Margarito begins to land more, then the fact that he's going forward and applying all the pressure may augur in his favor. It's interesting that one guy is putting all of the pressure on him, and another guy is retreating, as you said, but landing the really clean, effective punches. So it, 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 this is going to be judged anyway, man. And I feel Cotto has definitely won almost every round which is what I mean, but Most of his career, Miguel Cotto has used his feet to put pressure on opposing fighters. Tonight, he's trying to use his feet to keep pressure off. Uh, it's a classic reversal. And now Margarito throws all the shots as Cotto looks for space. And that's the very discouraging to any fighter. Hard right hand by Cotto. And a good left hook. Margarito fires away to the body three times. I think Cotto's actually dominating this round again. Margarito is really making him pay a price in this round with those body shots. Cotto blocked most of those and then slipped the others. But it looks to the crowd as though Margarito is putting all the pressure on. Six, Antonio Margarito figured the only way I'm going to get to this guy is to slow him up with body shots, and I thought he whacked real well to the body to win that round. I've got a four to two total, but Jim Bellis has got to let Margarito fight inside, otherwise Margarito don't have a chance. Certainly Margarito, Emmanuel, as you mentioned, changed the momentum in the last round. Yeah, the momentum to me is going to Margarito, even though he may be losing the fight. Just and he's working that shot I told you about up through the center very effectively now to left up a cut. Yep. Th this, is the first, again. this is the first round where I feel that Margarito is fighting on even terms with Cotto. Yeah. So even, even if I would be in Cotto's corner, I would be one of hurt, guys. Cotto's badly hurt. hurt by a series of Margarito uppercuts. They hammered him. Margarito goes right back to the left-hand uppercut. Cotto is in trouble. And this ain't Ricardo Torres. Cotto's looking for breathing room, and there is none. To fight his way out for breathing room, he gets hit by a hard right hand. Margarito throwing uppercut after uppercut. He might launch 120 punches in the round. Cotto turns southpaw. I think we're seeing the effects of that body work that Harold was talking and about. And now in the a last series round. of clean punches for Cotto. Gives him breathing room to back away. Cotto blocking most of these. Margarito with an unbelievable chin just keeps coming. It's that amazing Margarito beard that's putting a lot of pressure on Miguel Jim. Cotto. Miguel just can't hurt him. Jim, this is exactly the way I figured the fight was going to go. I've always been in these situations similar to some degree, but never with a big man like this. And that's what the shots by Cotto. A hard right hand by Margarito. And he lands another uppercut. Cotto trying to get a left. What a round. It's a lot of guys who had those big volume of through seven rounds. Antonio Margarito has already. Well, we know Cotto has showed his grit before. That's one thing I admire. He's better this big. Though. He's facing epic pressure tonight. Who that's, does? That's a good point, man. Who does? 
Cotto's landing thudding blows and dancing forward. He's moving in with his little jig. He's just as happy like he enjoys the situation. Short, but it's getting closer and closer. Rounds and the most exciting, but be comfortable with the situation. And, and even he as can't Cotto, run out the clock against Antonio Margarito. And even as Cotto does what he just did, which was land a series of unanswered punches. Cotto sitting on the middle rope as Margarito fired away with a bunch of punches again. And the next stop to the middle rope is the floor. It's so the next place he'll be sitting down if he wants to do something soon. Is Margarito landed nothing big in the last round and hasn't landed anything big so far in the all the mental impressions augur in favor of the Mexican star throwing nearly as many now Margarito starts to land again Cotto ducking and slipping and firing back as Margarito continued to try to apply a welter of punches but without big effect but Body shot landed for Margarito. Keep going to the body. Good left hook by Miguel Cotto. And he backs away. This is a hard round for judges to score. 86, 85, five rounds to four. I thought he had a very, very good ninth round. So I've got Miguel Cotto up one point. Mostly favoring Antonio Margarito. But Margarito 25 out of 80. Total landing 30 total punches in the round. Stick around to land the second and third. You're going to get hit in exchange. Another huge left hook by Miguel Cotto. Yeah, unless you just run in his judges. Good right hand there by Cotto. Blocking and ducking and slipping to Emmanuel. And you talked about Margarito's defense early on. I've been impressed with Cotto's defense since he's been under pressure from the middle part of the fight. Yes, yeah, too. And this is so far another round like the ninth. It's like hitting a brick wall that continues to close in. Now Margarito with one of his patented rallies. And Cotto just backs away without trying to answer it. Margarito getting the better of him here. This goes out up until this point. Cotto's hurt. Cotto's hurt. I had, I had Cotto winning this round up until his last flurry. Acknowledging perhaps that he was hurt on that flurry. And he lands a big right hand to end the round. A brewing classic in Las Vegas. And when you look at Cotto's face, he looks like the loser. He looks like the guy who's taken the beating. And we know that can be a big factor sometimes, too. Not just the face, but the facial expression, even. The 11th round of a scheduled 12. I mean, we know Cotto's heavy-handed, and we see him landing these titanic shots, and they don't seem to phase Margarito. And it's Cotto who's bleeding from the nose and the mouth, and who's been retreating throughout the entire fight. These are big mental impressions for judges. Those little Margarito short shots on the inside now, Emmanuel. Oh, yeah. That's and Cotto it. goes to a knee. Succumbing to the pressure, yeah. much the way Zab oh. Judah succumbed to the Six. pressure against him Seven. last year. And yeah. Antonio Margarito has finally gotten his man to bend. Miguel Cotto getting beaten up by oh, a man, bigger it's man. Over, it's over. He's exhausted, yeah, and it's it. almost over. The punishment has accumulated to the point oh, where no. Cotto has nothing left. There's no point in Kenny Bayless allowing this to proceed. No, it's over. It's over. And Evangelista Cotto's going to throw in the towel, and Antonio Margarito has the victory he's been waiting for all his life. That is a modern boxing classic closing sequence and this is just a case of Miguel Cotto succumbing to the constant pressure two uppercuts that, that, yeah. this time Kenny Bayla steps in and prevents any more harm and Evangelista Cotto Miguel's uncle got up onto the apron and tossed in a towel recognizing what everyone else at ringside side could see 
Round number 11, the winner by TKO victory. Now a three-time welterweight champion of the world, the Tijuana Tornado, Antonio Margarito.